Hey guys, I have a sale that starts today. Uh, this is gonna be for only seven days only, where it's uh, it's gonna be $35 for a 10 minute read. I'll say 10, between 10 to, to 12 minute reading, where I give you a extended, long drawn out explanation of your love life, okay? Um, and I, I find these cards very interesting because uh, I'm gonna be doing something I'm not gonna say, I wanna do something really interesting with these cards um, that I have not done on YouTube or on any of my cash apps, if you guys are interested in that. So all the information is gonna be down below. Uh, it is a special that's only gonna be lasting for seven days for $35 for a, this is like a special love reading, if you guys are interested. All right, see you guys later, bye. Well, hello Taurus. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel. This is gonna be a weekend reading. It's gonna be short and sweet, nothing uh, too long. Just gonna get you through the weekend, Saturday through. I mean, hopefully I'll come back Sunday, if not Monday. But let's go ahead, let's see. Get some encouraging words here for you, Taurus. Let's see what comes out here for Taurus. Let's get two cards here for Taurus. Taurus. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, new beginnings. Oh my God, love it. <laughs> I'm loving that imperfection and grounding yourself. This is so interesting and a really good, really good message for the weekend, really. Imperfection. I like the fact that in that little box you see love. It's like loving someone's imperfections over your own imperfections. <laughs> loving someone who you believe is imperfect. So that's the reason why you deal with it, right? But let's read what this card says. In our goal-driven world, we can seek to blame whenever things do not run smoothly. And yet it is our imperfections that make our human lives the perfect vessel for the evolution of the soul. Strive to be the best that you can be. Cherish your mistakes and those of others and honor the learning to be found in every experience. So for a lot of you, you are experiencing some trouble, right? And it may not even be the worst of things. It's just personality clashes, disagreements, and people making mistakes. And, and it's not to harper on it because obviously here, it's not really keeping you from getting to where you have to go. Right? You stay on your ground on things. Yes. Yes. Okay. But truly, when it comes down to um, this card is saying that's not going to have an impact on what the universe is going to, you know, you know, push you towards whatever direction. Um, but I do feel like there is some complaints about some issues, some problems, how someone is acting, some of the behavior. And... What can you learn from it? You know, like what role have you played in it? Because it's not just about other people's imperfections, it's about ours too, and not be so harsh even on yourself. But we'll get into that a little bit more when we pull the tarot. Here with grounding yourself, get outdoors, take off your shoes, find somewhere where it's safe and to stand barefoot. Usually when this happens, this car comes out, it's because there's been a lot of scattered energy it's been a lot of like electrical, very, a lot of anxiety you've been experiencing, feeling like you're all over the place. So with this one, it's like, all right, take a deep breath, ground yourself, whatever that means for you, because you got a new beginning here and walking into the new beginning, walking into the new beginning, you don't want to be screaming, walking into the new beginning. You want to be grounded. The universe is supporting you wherever you go. Um, this is a fresh start, so anything fresh is good, right? But first, you have to focus on yourself, ground yourself, your feelings, your emotions, sometimes even your finances, right? Ground yourself. Take control of where you need to take control because there's a new beginning. There's something happening here. Could that be, you know... Uh, addictions could it be what how you spend your money could it be just your mind well we'll see let's go ahead let's get into the reading i want to use this card first let's see what comes out here for taurus upright thank you 
you have the King of Swords. Wow. Ah, I'm going to be honest. Very defensive energy here with the King of Swords. So I do feel like there has been some issues. It's like it, either intentionally playing cold towards someone or detaching someone. No, you know, no conversation. Just dead feelings because this is what you need to do. Um maybe towards a lover, a family member, or whatever, right? Like this, the King of Swords is like, I mean business. And like I said, it's also the stand your ground energy too. Don't hold back in order to, you know, when it comes down to getting what you want, you don't have to, just because someone isn't perfect doesn't mean you have to lay down. So the King of Swords is like, yeah, that's true, but you don't have to lay down. But this is like, Meaning business with this King of Sword. You mean business with somebody. Totally. This is also uh, could be like a lawyer. Usually that is my King of Wands, but it could be like a lawyer type of thing. Some of you are getting, you know, you are meaning business with someone that you're in love with. Like, this is what I want, right? This is also with family members saying, no, enough is enough. This will not continue. That type of thing. Let's see. Whatever is upright is an upright. Whatever's reverse is reverse. Judgment. There it is. Forgiveness. <laughs> Forgiving someone. But that doesn't mean you have to be completely around them or like, no. Especially if it's been one-sided. Especially if there's been like someone been very dependent. Here, the part of the judgment is like making a decision to move on. That's the reason why you have the new beginning. I told you, like, it's it's... It's the same energy, new beginnings, is like standing your ground. Yes, I understand that you are imperfect, so I'm not going to scream at you. I'm not going to hurt you, but I am going to move forward because I'm standing my ground. Because I mean what I say. Like I said before, the King of Swords talks about I mean business. Because something here I feel has been like preventing you from getting what you want. Someone's behavior, someone's personality, someone's action, someone's words. Okay. I don't know why I feel like someone is like attached to you in some way. In some way. Uh, and it's like you're trying to slowly detach yourself from someone, like not trying to feel what you feel. You're trying to have a level here, you're trying to be logical. But there is a new renewal, new beginning here. It says it even here. So, you know, some new things are happening. No more waiting. You're not waiting on anyone. You're not expecting anything from anybody anymore. That's what I'm saying. Let's go ahead. This is for Taurus. Oh, my God. The magician came, came out. The magician came out in the upright. Yes, I love it. So, this is totally like a new beginning for you. This is clarity. This is you know, the truth. This is you seeing, yeah, this is clear vision. You understanding what you're dealing with, who you're dealing with, that type of stuff and being very decisive. I love the fact that it's like, if you have not been focusing on what you want, concentration is here. And intellectual, especially coming out with the King of Swords, it's like, again, you're, you're logical about your decisions. You have to be. I'm not saying that you can't have emotion behind it, right? But one thing about the King of Swords is like, I have to stop being emotional because this is the reason why I'm in this position in the first place. I'm in this position, the reason why I'm here is because I have not been reasonable with myself. So I do see that there's about, oh, there's about to be a magnificent new beginning. So I, I mean, seriously, like there's something that you don't expect that's going to happen. A phone call, conversation, maybe a new job a new person. I see all of that in your reading. It's really something that you do not expect. And this is a part of the new beginning. You're letting go of obstacles. This is a new chapter in your life where you have to shed, release, and cleanse. And part of that new that magician, you feel that. You definitely feel that. <laughs> okay. You've been resisting walking away or letting certain things go, certain bad habits, all of that. Now you're like, man, I got to do better. Right? I got to do better for myself. I, I want better for myself. This is a part of the evolution of the soul. Let's go ahead. Let's get the upright. Let's get the last one upright here. What well, this roll, I'll say. You're taking your time. You're being patient. I love it. Whoever this is, this is a person here. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh my goodness. <gasps> because you did it. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. This is so spiritual for you. This is so spiritual. This is a part of your rebirth. Connecting with people who are just like you, connecting with people who have even possibly had your same experiences with love and family. and But it's also, if it's a partner, it's talking about someone who's loyal. I see a commitment in this reading. I also see that like for a lot of you, you've been working really hard on your money. You've been very patient. Money is going to come in in a real, in a really nice way. Like you got you got some pretty decent money here. So it's, you've been waiting a while, or it, it may take a little bit of time for some of you, but your money is coming. Some of you have been waiting for that job opportunity. Some of you guys have been waiting for some investments to fall through, and yeah, I'm seeing money coming in upright, please. Thank you. Oh my God, upright full card. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I love it. So even with the nine of wands, it's like you're determined. This is you. You're like determined to, you're basically determined to do better and to have better for yourself. Your faith has been tested. And, and I mean, I'm just going to be honest. It really has. Like with your money and relationships and family, there are people who may even still try to test you before you even get to this new beginning, even sometimes afterward. I mean, they may, uh, they may do it, but I mean, you, you're going to maintain. Let's just get that straight. Where you may have been feeling out of control or feeling like things were out of your control, you're regaining control. You're also putting up boundaries. Let's be real with that Nine of Wands. I don't look at the cards and I'm just now reading what it says here. In order for you to have this new beginning and actually be free from something, you, you have to stand your ground and create those boundaries. We talked about this in the beginning part of the reading and here we are, we're saying the same thing. Some of you guys are pushovers. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't come for me in the comment section because I know you're going to do it. That doesn't mean all of you. Okay, please don't come for me. Not all of you. Thanks. All right. But I definitely see that you give a lot and people will take from you. So here with the nine of wands, it's like, can you please be determined to, to keep up your boundaries this time? Can you do that? And I know you will. I know you will. Okay. That's with any area. That's with anybody. Okay. This is what I'm seeing. Uh, Taurus, like I said, this is going to be a short reading. Uh, I will see you guys back here soon. Um, and yeah, have a good weekend. Have a good uh, holiday. Love you guys. Bye.